Greetings, welcome back to the channel and uh, the final build update and the final of our Chris Chapman Celebration of Life group build. This is the uh, Jeep Rubicon that I built in his honor. He built one like it. It's not the same kit. Although I did find the same kit on eBay and I bought it and I do plan on building it. It's a older version. This one is the, uh, had to find the instructions. <laughs> this one is the 2000 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Revell. I'm assuming it's kit 4501. Where the other one is the older version that has the winch and stuff on the front. This one does not. As you can see we have uh, we have the mirrors to put on and front bumpers. I got the license plate to step on those. This is the uh Front plate of some sort goes across the front. We'll have to figure out how to highlight the Jeep on there. There may be a decal. I didn't look. Then I got the pair of wiper blades that need to go on yet. And for a bumper. We got this, uh, the decals on this. And it's all clear coated. Got all the lights in it. The uh, headlights are put in. I put some white paint on the back side, flat white. And then the uh, markers come clear, so these are clear orange. Uh, This is color, the black, uh, dark color on here is pavement, not black. And, uh, tail lights are weird. They just kind of snap in there on pins. <laughs> and the uh, door handles are... Also, separate pieces along with the cake plate. Uh, those are uh, AK Super Chromed. And that's my puppy dog snoring. <laughs> along, with, along with the gas cap. The uh, body, as you've seen, is all put together. And that's all... Uh, Pavement, apple barrel pavement. This one right here. And the color is a jack o' lantern, apple barrel jack o' lantern for the body. Uh, I glossed some of the stuff. I put floor shine on it actually. Sorry, quick shine. And then some of it I did not. Uh, you can see I weathered the chassis up a little bit. Am I going to mud this thing up? No. <laughs> Not my style. Uh, it would be neat to hold. I may do the other one. But not this one. So all we got to do is put this on this. Put the mirrors on, the wipers on, the bumpers on. And it's a done deal. So we will bring you back. For the final finale of the 2003 Jeep Rubicon, Chris Chapman, Celebration of Life Group Build. Well, 
the final uh, build is done and here is the finished product together as you can see she's all together and uh, <laughs> I must say this kit literally falls together it's curbside snap kitish as everybody says it is and it's a joy to put together of course you could probably do this in about a week if you didn't have to do all the filming and the waiting and processing and blah 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 but as you can see we got got the body on the chassis got the mirrors on got the bumpers on And she's looking pretty, pretty spiffy. Got the rear bumper on. And uh, this whole back end is... Uh, <laughs> and I've lost red. Oh no. I don't see red. Well, this is red today. How are you guys? <laughs> this uh, whole back end here is uh, bare metal foil. That's not chrome. Um, the uh, decals, these are decals down here. On, on, on the sides across the course license plates and I kind of foobarred this one up a little bit but uh, I'll live with it I tried the uh, yeah rubber mask on the glass because I screwed up put the glass in much paused it in there then I forgot I had to clear coat the car one more time and I had to uh, so I put scotch tape across the back side and then on this side I used that uh, liquid mask a Vallejo liquid mask but as you can see she looks pretty spiffy I'm proud of it uh, of course like I said earlier this this here is all uh, pavement I elected to do the wheels the same way. Uh, I think if you go see one running up and down the highway, they're chrome-ish and or silver. Uh, I lost a tailpipe tip, so I scratch-built one. Forgot to mention that earlier. But the uh, decals went on pretty good. It's just a clean, easy, simple build. Uh, I want to thank Mark or Grandpa Mark's Hobbies for his suggestion on painting the interior the same as the rest of the painting. This uh, all pavement. I uh, did some weathering on the inside and and used panel liner on the seats. We'll show some pictures at the end here. And uh, detailed the dash a little bit. Uh, I did not use, I think there was a glass for this. I did not use a glass. I used Mod Podge over the decal for the dash. And uh, just used various tones of gray and uh, black wash on the interior. And it, it shined up pretty good. Am I going to dirty this like I said earlier? No. <laughs> this is this is going to be the runner up down the road thing. But she's not going she's not going out in the field today. Uh for one thing it's not wet enough. So sorry Chris. <laughs> this girl ain't getting all muddy. Uh 
You can see we got the interior all uh, the interior dumbass. The uh, bottom of the chassis all we got it weathered up a little bit, and uh, she's a, a nice looking addition to my shelf. But she'll sit on my desk for a while so I can stare at it. And, uh, there's one scratch mark right here. You can't see it. I can. And then there's a, uh, run right across the door here. When, when I was putting that last coat of quick shine on there yesterday, uh, my arm hit the, the paint booth. Because my paint booth ain't about this wide <laughs> you know it's one of those small ones uh, and it made me pedaddle it anyway I'm proud of it I'm sure Chris is going to be proud of it uh, if you haven't bought this kit you need to buy it it's, it's an easy sweet little kit I will uh, say the one thing is to this suspension is a bit of a pickle. This uh, snaps underneath the frame and then the springs, let me show the front here because I didn't fix it. The springs go around the supposedly shocks. <laughs> uh, you can see it's white underneath there. It's because the paint came off because you got to shove this in to get the screws in. Well, it w w scrape the paint off. If I was to build this again, I would take and hollow out the frame where this uh, front axle support slides up in there. And so this would be easier and smoother. It works fine without the paint, but when you paint things, everything gets tighter. Didn't account for that. Uh, she's She's sets kind of level. If she doesn't, just give it a push and the springs reseat themselves. <laughs> so, yeah. Because it's not... It doesn't move up and down like it should. Anyway, but none of mine roll either, see? I glue the wheels because I don't want them rolling around. Anyhow, uh, short of having uh, a little, there, oh, there's a there's a dog hair right there. <laughs> I always have to have a dog hair, but uh, you know it's part of the build. None of my builds are perfect. They're not shiny, shiny. Oh, this one's got quite a bit of shine to it. It's got. Like, Four coats or five coats of uh, quick shine on it because I wanted to put a little shine on it. You can't see yourself in it, but that's okay. I don't buff them out to make them do that. Anyhow, thanks everyone for following along. Thanks for all the comments. Once again, thank you to all my subscribers, new and old. Love every one of you. Uh, Thank you for watching and following along and keep coming back and watching this crazy old 70-year-old man. And by the way, yes, I am 70 years old now. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to work on 72, or 1, yes, 71. And uh, that's all we got for you today, folks. Take care. God bless. Uh... Be kind to your neighbors, keep modeling, and save the fingers. <laughs> I haven't said that one for a while. Uh, I'm still rambling, ain't I? All right, well, I'm going to shut up now. Bye.